Hey, what's going on everybody? So I got this new scanner. It's called a uh, Altel. I've heard good things about them. I've had uh, buddies uh, when I worked at the Mercedes dealership had them. They recommend them. Um, I have a Maxicom MK808. I saw it was a pretty good deal. I got mine for just around 400 bucks on Amazon. So I figured, you know, I got uh, a lot of cars to maintain and a lot of friends and family that I take care of and do side work on. So I thought it would be a good investment to get one. So you can see here, um, I pretty much just opened it out of the box. Um, pretty easy. I just made like a little account right here on this tablet, which is basically just a Android tablet. Uh, seems in first impression, pretty well built quality. You got this nice kickstand. I mean, it does definitely doesn't feel cheap. Feels nice. Uh, seems to operate pretty fast, real easy setup. Um, I pretty much just opened it and here I am in my W211 um, Mercedes setting it up uh, to see how it kind of works. So basically what I've done is I've gone in and it operates a lot like the dealership computer that I used called a SDS or a Zentry DOS, whatever you, um, you know it as. But um, I basically did what at the dealership we refer to as a quick test. And so it did a little auto scan like it says right here. And so it went through all the modules, took, you know, maybe a minute or so, maybe less. But you can see it checked all these. I mean, this thing functions pretty fast. It's not really, it doesn't have any lag. So I basically went, there's my rear SIM. Overhead control panel has some faults. Basically click on that, go on there. I just wanted to make this video to kind of show all these that may be interested in one. Um, Kind of my review of it i haven't uh, of course done a lot with it but uh, in future videos when i'm showing more problems i'll be definitely be using this so you'll be able to see more and more technical but right now i'm just kind of reading codes hit read codes it shows right there some trunk lamp errors probably some old stuff uh, maybe you know, i was um, changing the bulbs to leds or something so I'll probably just end up erasing those. Go down the next one, overhead control panel. You can see it's pretty quick. Blinks up at the top here, indicating that it's working. Yeah, it's just got pretty much the connection. It's got your power button here. You just long hold, press that to turn it on. You just tap it, turn it on and off. So, go in here, read codes. So here we got some tilting roof, stored. Don't need to worry about that. So it says current and stored front dome lamp. So, as you can see, my uh, front dome lamps are LED. I swapped those out for LEDs. So it's probably what it's complaining about, but they're working fine. So I'm just going to ignore those, <clears throat> but it seems to work pretty well. I mean, I've been in the doors and stuff and I didn't have a scanner that could clear this stuff. So I'm sure, um, all that's stuff. That's nothing to worry about. My car functions fine. Doesn't have any errors right now. So you can, um, you know, escape, you can go back to the home. This is the screen you're going to see when you First, uh, open up the app after you've made your little account and everything. Then you can go into like diagnostics. There's a little home button here at the top. So I just hit that. You can go into service. So of course it first wants you to end one task before you start another. So then you can go into like control units. We can go into rich any of these. We can go on there. Check what the Emmy's uh, seeing. So we'll probably just view the live data. 
So let's see. We want to look at let's see there's fault counter, drive. Let's see what more there is. There we go. Let's look at the oxygen sensors, see what they say. So of course right now the car is off. You can see you've got your values here. So once I turn the car on. So you can see the downstream left and right oxygen sensors are kind of changing there a little bit. You can see it's turned the heaters on. So you pretty much see that it's able to read that stuff. There's your camshaft adjustment positions. You can see your intake manifold position, pressure. So it seems to do pretty much everything that I was looking forward to do. I kind of just wanted to get it so I can actually access every module on the car and uh, maybe do some kind of adaptation stuff here and there but um, it seems with my experience level I definitely wanted something uh, more like this it may not be so user friendly for just anybody that's just kind of a do-it-yourselfer I mean me it's really intuitive because it's a lot like the scanner that uh, Mercedes dealers use, so. But I think it's pretty cool. So far from what I've seen, it looks pretty quality and I'd recommend it. But like I said, in future videos, I'll kind of um, uh, show you more of kind of what it does and what I use it for. But if you have any questions, if you want to ask me if it works for this, I mean, it connected effortlessly to my um, W211, my 2008. Um, you can ask me. I'll be willing to definitely come out and try it. I've got this W211, the 220, and there's the R-Class uh, W251 on the other side of that. I've got some uh, friends' cars that have w 221s, W203s, um, lots of different Mercedes. Um, I'm going to be working on some other stuff, side work, but uh, if you have any questions, just reach out in the comments. Let me know uh, if you have any questions about um, how it hooks up or if it's able to do different things. All right, so, uh, you know, like and subscribe for more. Let me know.